Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm making a fun and sparkly birthday card. I'm using a Spellbinder Celebrations die that's called Hip Hip Hooray. And for my card base, I'm cutting a piece of white cardstock to 8.5 by 5.5, scoring it at 4 and a quarter, and that gives me an A2 size card. I'm going to add some layers to this, some mats to this. So my first mat is using this Simple Stories Snap Collection. And I'm cutting this to five and a quarter by four. And that leaves me a perfect white border. Then I'm cutting another mat from the same white cardstock to three and three quarters by five. And all these measurements will be listed on Cut at Home's blog, so check the description box for that. So to adhere all my layers, I'm using some Angel Craft double-sided tape in the one quarter inch. And I'm going to adhere down my first layer my second layer, I decided to put a piece of lightweight chipboard behind it to give it a little bit of dimension. And I pre-printed my sentiment that says happy birthday out from the computer. You can stamp one if, if you'd like. So I'm adhering that one down. Here is the Spellbinders die. This is such a fun die to have. So I'm cutting out several pieces of Marianne Designs glitter paper in both feet, red and silver. I will also use um, another glitter stack that I have from the Paper Studio. So I'm just running these through my Sizzix Big Shot and I get a perfect cut from these. So I'm going to cut out several. I, I'm not sure at this point how many I will be using. So here are the other ones that I cut. And now I'm cutting some crochet twine that I have in white. And here, just showing you that I'm going to be using some of the lightweight chipboard to go behind my balloons. I ran those through as well, through the Sizzix Big Shot. And now my first balloon is the largest balloon. I'm adding that to the corner of my card, gluing that directly down. And now I'm trying to decide which ones I want to pop up. So this one here is from the Paper Studio Glam Glitter Stack. I added a piece of chipboard behind that and behind this red one as well. And this red one sits off to the side a little, so I went ahead and added a piece of chipboard to the part that um, was sitting off to the side. That way it's even, the entire balloon is even. So I'm just gluing a small piece of chipboard behind that. And I decided I wanted to tuck this little balloon straight down onto the card, so I just lifted up that polka dot balloon and tuck that in behind there. I'll worry about adding the crochet twine after. This one I popped up on a couple layers of chipboard. I really wanted it to stand up. And here's where I decide that I'm going to add the second red balloon underneath. I love that pop of red, but I didn't want to use too much of it. So I'm just tucking that behind and using the striped balloon on top. And again, I'm adding some chipboard behind it and adhering it down. I'm using some Scotch Quick Dry. While I'm letting those dry with some acrylic blocks on them, I'm putting together some bows that I cut from my Cameo using that same Simple Stories paper. I cut them two different sizes. A little bit larger and smaller so I wasn't sure um, which one I wanted to use. So here's where I just go ahead and add in the crochet twine. I'm just kind of tucking them in there. Some of them I'm using a little bit of hot glue and one I used a little bit of the Scotch Quick Dry. Here's where I add the hot glue because that one popped off anyways so it was simple for me to just tuck it in under there with hot glue. This card came together so quickly and I love how it turned out. So now I'm just gathering my crochet twine at the bottom there and I will be using some hot glue on the back of that bow and that'll hold all those strings in place. And I decided to add a white enamel dot to the center of my bow. And now I'm going to finish off the inside of my card with a couple of balloons that I had left over. That's all there was to this card. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the measurements listed. Thanks so much for stopping by.